Shalom, shalom. First thing and foremost, man, about praises and glory and honor is due to you. about Shimi, how shy about Shimmer Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, blessings and salutation to the hopeful like those in the gospel broad lifting up the standard of you. How about Shimmy Shai? I recorded a whole video, man, and somehow I lost it. Well, I ran out of storage space, but only the last four minutes recorded. So I'm gonna attempt to do it again and fuck, I'm mad because that was a hella good video, man. I went into some some interesting points so hopefully you know the spirit was still moving with me to make those points and to you know even bring them out even more um more uh how can i say it effectively should i say all right so listen up i've been seeing a lot of videos about the man from africa who the government was trying to kill but they couldn't really kill him and, you know they did all kind of bad stuff to him I just want to let y'all know, he was a Bantu man, he was an Israelite, by blood, a saint, real saint, his name was Simeon Toko, they cut his heart out and everything, you see that, and they told him, they told, he told them when his heart was out that, uh, there's many more like him that's going to come in the, in the, in the future. And they ain't gonna be able to stop what's gonna happen. All praise to our power. Yahweh Bahasham Yahusha. Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honor to our elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of Israel. Shalom. Shalom to the elect. No one will stop the Lord's elect once they are raised up. Power is coming to this earth unlike you've ever seen before. That's right. So uh anyway, this was based on the guy by the name of Simeon Toko. Alright, they called him like the black messiah, or he was like a G they they basically said it was who they would call Jesus that was risen. For one thing, his name wasn't Jesus, okay? His name was Yahweh Shai. And this is clearly not the Lord, but He's an Israelite, okay? He said he was uh, a Togo, I believe. I think that was over there in the Congo, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, I believe that Jake could have been an angel because the accounts of them killing him several times over, and he was basically responding. Like, they disintegrated, they cut him up, they uh, chopped his body up and flew him to different parts of the world to totally destroy him. And he appeared right in the office. He, like, respawned, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And uh, he said, well, you know what? Y'all don't want me here, but you know what? It ain't going to be nothing y'all can do in the future because it's going to be many more like myself. And I figured he was alluding to the elect. All right. The men that you're seeing on the highways and byways. In a few or in a coming uh, short time, we're going to be raised up with that spiritual power through the spirit. Because, you know, as I was saying in my last video, I'm sick of taking shit to the chin, man. You know, uh, we've been getting shitted on. We've been getting trampled on. These little low-life minions in this society has done nothing but mistreat us and disrespect us. And there's going to come a time that the Most High is going to raise us up to punch your fucking clock, man, all right? Because you know what, man? And I'm not a guy that really bite my tongue. You know, I say and I speak what's on my mind. I have a problem with you. You will know about it. But lately, you know, I've been practicing a lot of patience. You know, people say a little slick shit here and there that you could take. You know, you could take with a grain and salt and not feed into it because, you know, people ain't that bold to just be straightforward and, 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 and say, fuck you, you know. But either way it goes, not the point. But, you know, today, this, this little, this little muck mouth bitch, I guess she used to work at Subway and I know that because uh, when I used to work uh, around that area, I used to go to Subway and sometimes if I was around a building and I noticed this female and uh, I noticed that she lives around me in this apartment complex. I'm like, oh, shit, she stay around me. All right, and she has a twin sister. Little both low-life Edomite trash, man. Well, they may be Jake's, who knows? But low-key, they're just a bunch of low, low lives, man. So I guess they feel high and mighty because they are been elevated to property manager. So I guess they feel like since they've been managing this little raggedy-ass apartment complex, I guess they feel... They on a level to call shots. So anyway, the bitch was looking at my car because I got another car that's on a lot. And it just kind of been sitting there. I've been wanting to get it fixed up. 
I just um, haven't gotten around to it yet. And uh, so it's sitting off the side. It ain't bothering nobody right along with another vehicle. So I come outside because she was looking at it and I know they kind of want to tow it. So she like, this is your car. And back of my mind, I'm like, bitch, you know, this is my goddamn car. You know, this is my fucking car. All right. So uh, she was like, you know, she was like, well, you know uh, what you're going to do it. I'm like, I'm going to try to get it fixed up. And she was like, well, you know, you're going to have to move it, though. I was like, that's fine. You know, we established that I had to move it. So as I walked off and then she's like, well, you know, you're going to have to move it. Kind of got a little little feisty with me. But, you know, she tried to play it off. And I kind of looked at her like. Just shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Don't 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 say nothing else. Like we've established the fact that, yes, I'm gonna move the fucking car. We established that. So why are you still talking? You know what I'm saying? And part of me wanted to say, bitch, shut the fuck up talking to me, man. But you know what? I'm like, all right, whatever, man. And I kind of just gave her a look, and I guess she got it from that. But the reality of it is, man, you people ain't gonna be able to say or treat us the way you think you wanna treat us. You know what I'm saying? Cause like I said, man. You people, you're getting ready to get a rude awakening because when the Most High put that power in this earth, all you people are going to get mowed down like the vermin you are. Because like I said, man, it's just been a lot of disrespectful shit going on. Like I was going to camp Saturday and um, I had some arguing outside. And this, this little fat little bitch arguing with this dude, man, putting her hands in his face, tapping him on the head like, nigga, you ain't shit. Who up this and that? And I'm like, man, that couldn't have been me. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, that couldn't have been me because... The, the, the disrespect that Israelite, Israelite men has endured from everybody. He's endured disrespect from Esau, from the other nations, and his own kind, and predominantly his woman. And, I mean, she was talking reckless to this dude, man, to the point I just thought he was going to smack the shit out of her. But when I realized who it was, I'm like, oh, Jake is cool. You know, he ain't really on that. You know, he's a little hood nigga, but the only thing, you know, he cool Jake. The only thing we talk about when I see him is cars and shit. You know what I'm saying? And she was literally just fucking with this, like, fucking with him, talking shit. And I'm like, damn, like, what the hell? And it vexed my spirit to the point I'm like, yeah, we got to get out of here. So, yeah, man, you you people, you got another thing coming, man. You people are highly disrespectful, okay? And uh, same thing that happened to this Jake right here. Like, I believe he was an angel. You know, some people say he was actual, literal person. He could have been, you know? I'm not saying it, but it says here, it says on January 4th, 1959, and this wasn't that long ago, it says witnesses attested that many cherubim or seraphim emerged and held off a Belgian colonial army. It says citizens of Aleppoville saw an army of about a thousand angels, non-terrestrials, <laughs> very muscular bodies. So that means that the angels, they were jacked, man. I mean, they were pumped. <laughs> these, these, you know, the, the Most High's army is, is not a joke, man. That's why, Jake, you know, we all got that warrior spirit because, believe it or not, the angels of our, is our brothers. And you can read about that in Revelation 19. So he said that the angels were kind of jacked, you know, got, got, got some, you know, got some size on them. And it says, uh, saw an army of about a thousand angels because the scriptures say the most high is tens of thousands of angels. OK, even more than that, an innumerable multitude. But it says very muscular bodies imposing. It says in these human looking beings, but with supernatural powers demonstrating an extraordinary force for example a witness saw one of them on the road sweeping a five-ton truck with one hand damn five tons right you know what i'm saying i think a ton is a thousand pounds if i'm not mistaken something like that but damn five tons with one hand that's some spiritual power that's some power for your ass so just imagine when the most high turns us up what we're going to be able to do to you people Deservingly so because of the hell you've put on the Lord's people and we're talking about the elect Okay, because the elect we endure shit that no average person really endures Period man, you know what I'm saying? We have to take a lot of shit to the chin and I honestly I'm tired of taking hits to the chin and not being able to do shit You know prime example, right? Like another thing it was a clips that was posted of this chick from Cleveland I guess she was like a stripper or she has a stripper name. So this dumb thought go to the social media or whatever and start complaining because our baby daddy beat her up. She's like, this is what he does to me. And the bitch is pregnant. So my thing is, why well, first resort you want to go and put your business out there to get this man possibly in a jam? Women don't think. So kids, you're not right. The other clip, right, she uh, had a, I guess she was taking a pregnancy test. And uh, the dude, I guess it was supposed to be her child's father. He's like, fuck, damn. You know, like, I got this bitch pregnant. You know what I'm saying? That's a bad thing because he knew it was going to be trouble. 
But then when I looked at why he beat the shit out of her, I mean, she's literally pitting in, like, what I ass how her titties is on. I mean, she's literally pussy pop, man. You know, excuse my, my vulgarity, you know, my French and my vulgar, but she was literally popping her shit. You know what I'm saying? Ass out, dancing like she crazy, but yet, all of a sudden, nigga kick her ass. I was saying he's the bad guy now. And nobody is saying anything about her behavior. Nobody's condemning her on the fact that maybe this is the reason why, you know, uh, uh, he did this and this and that. Because if a man is, is possessive of a woman or if, he, if he's or that's his wife, he's going to want some discipline out of her, man. So he's going to, you know, he's going to establish order. And that's I'm assuming that's what he did. So brother uh, was, was uh, saying he was like, in order to fix that, he said... Only thing that John got to do is submit and, 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 and get her ass off the social media account, man. She'd be all right. She wouldn't have that happen to her. And I can agree with that. But yet, everybody's condemning this dude. Oh, fuck that nigga. He ain't shit. He's a bitch. But yeah, nobody's condemning her for being a hoe. You see the hypocrisy, man? So that's why, man, you know, we, we, we got, we need, we need, we just need, a, we need a savior for real. All right. But anyway, it says here. Imposing, it says, with a truck with one hand. It says, Belgian soldiers opened fire on these angels, non-terrestrials, but to no effect, a colonial army was in panic and disorder. It says, angels disappeared as suddenly as they appeared. But according to the African natives, that day, Simeon Toko had unleashed his army. Fourth of January is the day, the celebration to Dan Kanisha. Okay. So basically, man, this is who they would consider that the black Jesus got kind of guy, but we gonna get these abilities is what I'm saying. Cause it says Simeon Toko, a reincarnation of Simeon uh, Kambugu appeared before people in an apparitional body, like a spirit and in dream states where he was physically alive and continues to do the same among certain sected people 17 years after his willing natural death. It says at least one witness says that he personally killed this man quite professionally as a hired killer and saw him alive again a few days later <laughs> it says others still living at the time of this writing say that they saw toko physically slaughtered and watched him bring himself back to life before the astonished eyes it says there's a very large uh, body of testimony of which only a little has been recorded or written down for eyewitnesses okay so this guy had those abilities like the lord said in three days i would raise this body up okay so <laughs> that's the spirit man they said that he was raised up because like I said, the account of him uh, being put to death is actually on video. You know, the government and so forth, they were supposed to take him to the UN and get his message out. But yet they killed him because Esau's afraid of this, man. He's afraid of us getting our strength and our power back because there ain't going to be nothing you can do with an Israelite man when he gets his power. And like I said earlier, it is levels to it because we're going to truly be invincible when we get our spiritual bodies. But even then, we're going to be turned up on a whole nother level. In his physical body too Because remember what Moses did The miracles that Yahweh Shai did They said it was so ma so many miracles he's done That they couldn't even write it all in the Bible Okay so for you jokers out there That's talking about all the miracles Is witchcraft and sorcery Explain how man walk on water Or raise the dead Is that sorcery? A man being able to fly Is that sorcery? You jakes man You, you guys have no belief That's why uh you know, this GMS, we're the only ones that go into spiritual power. You know, we're the only ones that talk about these type of things because we believe. You guys, you don't believe. And that's why I notice most men in GMS, the most high, even upon becoming, before coming into this truth, the Lord gave us a real strange imagination. A real weird imagination. Being able to emulate and being able to think things and believe in them. Like as a kid, I've always believed in some type of super abilities and shit like that like i was into a certain type of games and all that stuff you know i was always into like action and stuff like that you know and um just having an overly active imagination esau wants to kill that creativity because they say if you can think it you can do it like right now i could see me literally flying off or turning or shaping something and and and, and plunging it man all right so hey when we get these powers man you people better get the fuck out the way excuse my french all right, so this is the book of Isaiah 41, and I'm going to start at verses, let's start at verses, uh, let's start at 11, not 10. It says, Fear not thou, for I am with thee, be not dismayed, for I am thy power. 
I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness, man, okay? And that's starting first and foremost with this truth, okay? Lord said, be not dismayed, because right now, man, we are in a low state. We have no power, no nothing. Like I said, the black and Hispanic man is the most shitted on man on the planet Earth, okay? Nobody respects you, Jake. No, it's zero tolerance when you do something. Okay, anybody else get a slap on a wrist or, you know, it is some type of reasoning or negotiation. With Jake, there's no negotiating, man. You know what I'm saying? There's no negotiating with shit. And I noticed Esau, he's been kind of nitpicking with brothers. He's kind of been fucking with brothers a little bit because, um, you know, he's not going to come straight forward. He's going to aggravate you in different means, you know, whether it be, you know, not fixing your car correctly or, you know, a piece of mail and all this other shit that's not coming in, playing with your money, your funds. You know, Esau is doing little manipulative things to try to frustrate the men of the Lord because they want us to get carnal. You see what I'm saying? Because he can't do anything as far as what is on a physical level. So he's doing a little pop shot shit. You know, he's setting little mouse traps to try to catch you up in some things. That's why we got to be spiritual. It says here, behold, all they that were incensed against thee should be ashamed and, and confounded. It says they should be as nothing and they should that, that strive with thee should perish. So it's going to come a time that you people are going to get jacked up out here. You know what I'm saying? You people going to literally get fucked up. Especially when you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a, a man of the Lord. Uh, you're going to get smashed on sight, man. All right? Because the scripture says, I'll make thee a new sharp threshing instrument. And that's later on in this chapter. You know what I'm saying? And, hey, like I said, I get the spiritual power, man. You mother... You, hey, y'all better get the... Y'all better fucking duck. Motherfucker better hope I don't get turned up, man. Because, hey, I'm already turned up now. But, hey, let me get turned up when, when the Lord turns me up. Oh, man, this is going to be another fucking damn hell for you people. Okay? Because like the apostles always said, we jumping over Esau to get you niggas. You niggas, you got to be going. You women, you definitely going to get clinked up, man. On the real, if you ain't with your how about you, how shine that day, you going to get mowed down. Period. And we're reading it. And it says here, and they should be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Everybody's striving against us, man. Whether it's uh, face value or they doing it from behind the, cur the curtain. Like, you know, Esau likes to throw a rock and hide his hand. You know, so they'll try to fuck with you through political means and stuff like that. Hoping that you don't know what's up. It says here, thou shalt seek them and thou shalt not find them. Even them that contend with thee and they that war against thee shall be as nothing for as a thing of naught. So, hey, you're going to be brought down, man. Okay, we literally going to have that power. We literally going to flip shit on his back out here once the Lord give us the go ahead. Okay, because the standard is coming real soon. And I know that because it has been too many signs in the earth. A standard is coming. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, yesterday, I was watching one of my favorite videos, favorite movie scenes. And guess what? It had 144K, 144,000 views on there. And I clicked. And I was like, oh, shit. I didn't even know that. I was just chilling watching it go down. And all of a sudden, it had 144K. I'm like, wow. And what are the chances that this guy that I was watching was like one of my favorite characters of all time? You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I was like, if I had spiritual power, I'm like, I want his power. Because this nigga could throw fire and shit, turn to dragons, all kinds of shit, man. It's dope. So, uh, and it's funny, I was watching a fight last night and, bam, we had 144K on there. So I'm like, oh, shit, you know? So, hey, soon, brothers. Soon, man, we ain't going to be, hey, soon, just a, little more, uh, just, just a little more suffering, man. And we're going to be able to shed this madness for good. Because when all hell break loose... Oh, man, you people going to be losing their damn mind. You know, people going to be trying to follow you and shit because they're going to see some of the miracles you're going to do. You know what I'm saying? You may raise somebody from the dead. You may throw some fire. You may leap over a building. You know what I'm saying? You may throw a bus. <laughs> people going, oh, shit, bro. Just, damn, how you do that? And that's when everybody going to want to be on your team. And that day, that's why the scriptures say, uh, in a day of thy power, thy people shall be willing yeah, I, I'm just waiting on it, you know, because I remember the Lord told the disciples, he said, go back and wait for the Holy Spirit to come upon you. And when it, it just came upon him, you know, it didn't really go into detail on how, what kind of signs it just the Lord said, just go and wait. It's going to come. So, you know, I, I'm wrapping my hand on how it's going to go down. I'm like, <laughs> you know, I, like if you watch the first Spider-Man movie, when the nigga got bit by the spider and shit, he, he started getting buff and shit. He started getting gains. And I'm like, oh, shit. So I, I don't know if it's just going one day I'm going to be able to wake up and fly. I, I have no clue how it's going to work or are you going to start seeing some things or powers? Because it's going to come with belief. That's the first thing and foremost, you know. I ain't expecting to wake up and be 
seven feet tall and all that, but you know, hey, anything is possible. And it says here, for the Lord, for it says, for I am Yahweh, thy power will hold thy right hand, saying it to thee, fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thou worm, Jacob, okay? We're worms. Worm is a defenseless creature. That's what we are. We have no help, nothing, but Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. That's why in the court systems, we get railroaded, okay? We get talked to any kind of way. Nobody wants to rent to us. I mean, you have certain laws of negotiation to help you get your footing in, but they don't even uh, uh, extrapolate on those laws for Jake. They just flat out deny them. You know, if there's assistance for you, they would deny you. They say, oh, we don't have that. You see what I'm saying? So, you 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 know, that just that's how it is. So that's why it says, fear not thou worm, Jacob. It says, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, says the Lord, and thy Redeemer, and the Holy One of Israel. Verse 15, behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. Okay, so literally it's going to be an actual weapon. We're going to become the weapon. Scriptures say, thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. And I pray to the Lord, make me a weapon, man. All right, he made me a weapon, a sword of a mighty man. Like I said, man, niggas, you ain't, you better duck. Cause hey, the Lord is coming for that head, man. You know, like I got these, uh, I got these, these uh, wheels in, on, on my wall right here, man. And the Lord can have me to take one of them fucking 20 inch wheels and, 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 and jabble that shit to somebody and disintegrate them, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be creative with it. You know, I'm looking at shit in my living room and stuff like that. I'm like, man, that's the weapon, that's the weapon. Now I'll take that fucking dumbbell right there and, and, and turn that shit. I'll throw that money. It'd be like a bullet hitting your ass. And tell you, fuck your shit up, man. That's the type of power we're going to get. Because, hey, you people, your shit need to be fucked up. For real. You people are proud, all right, and you low. And I can't wait till the most high allows us to kick your fucking heads off your shoulders, man. Because I'm tired of you. I don't, I don't fucking like you people, man. I do not like you people. I, I fucking despise you people. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't with your how about she, man, how shot, I do not like you, man. I don't give a good goddamn about your life or what the fuck you do with it. I don't like you people. And that's how the most high feels. We don't like you motherfuckers, man. Okay? You ain't in this truth, the, the hell with you. You ain't in this truth sincerely and you, good, and you bullshitting, the hell with you. Okay? It says, Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. It says, Thou shalt thresh the mountains, which is these governments, and beat them small, and shall make the hills as chafe, man. So, hey, we're going to smash you motherfuckers, man. Bro, I, I can't wait, man. I, I can't. I feel it in my veins, bro. I can't fucking wait, man. I'm going to be like Wolverine on you. Straight up, man. Because all that pent-in anger and aggression we have, man, hey, the most I was going to bring every time we was mistreated to our mind. And we're going to fucking feed off that anger. Because he's going to put his anger on us. You know, he says he's going to make the creature his weapon, man. So, hey, that power is coming soon, Akim. You know, I, I know it is. I pray that I'm able to partake in it. All right, so this is the book of uh, Micah 5 and 7. It says, And the remnant of Jacob should be in the midst of many people as a dew from the Lord, as showers upon the grass, that tarry not for man, nor waited for the sons of men. It says, And the remnant of Jacob should be among the Gentiles in the midst of many people as a lion among the beasts of the forest. So we're going to be fucking people up, man. It says here, As a lion, as a young lion among the flocks of sheep, who, if he go through, both tread it down and tear it into pieces, and none can be delivered. And thy hand should be lifted upon thy adversaries and all thy enemies should be cut off. So, hey, man, you ain't going to be able to do nothing with an Israelite man in the coming days. All right. And uh, this is actually the, the last part didn't rec it record it, but I don't think it saved. The brother called me and I think the phone or the algorithm on the phone picked up that I didn't have enough storage. So it only got the last four minutes of the video, which I wasn't too happy about, but it's all good. You know, the spirit was still on me to redo it. So anyway, uh. Last precept here, and uh, somehow I can I'm gonna upload this with the other one. I mean, it, it's gonna seem kind of off, but I'm gonna just upload this as a whole different video, too. So, anyway, this is uh, Micah 4 and 13. It says, Arise and thresh, O daughter of Zion, for I will make thy iron horn iron, and I will make thy hoofs brass, and thou should beat in pieces many people, <laughs> and I will consecrate thee again unto the Lord, and that substance unto the Lord of the whole earth. So, hey, we're going to go around fucking shit up. And, hey, we're going to put your asses in slavery, man. And the two-thirds, hey, man, I, bro, I, I, I hope the most high lets us, get, lets us get busy on you Babylonians, man. You Babylonians deserve it. I'd rather get busy on you before the other heathens in the, in the other parts of the world. 
Because they wicked as hell too. But you people here are just wicked. Ain't, ain't enough harm can come to you. You know? But anyway, uh, I'm going to close it off with this. All praises and glory, honor, as due to you. How about shy? Shalom and a bubble ball. Okay. By way of Yahweh Shai and the tabernacle of David. St. John chapter 20, verse 30. And many of the signs truly did Yahweh Shai in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written that ye might believe that Yahweh Shai is Hamashiach, the son of Yahweh, and that believing ye might have life through him. St. John chapter 21 verse 25 And there are also many other things which Yahweh Shah did The which if they should be written every one I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books That should be written Amun Tawab So Yahweh Shah did things that are not even in the Bible Alright And he did things they cannot be contained in enough books on earth. So check this out. St. John chapter 14 verse 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. So there is no telling what the Lord's men are going to be able to do. What capabilities they're going to have by way of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You believe on Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior. He's going to give you unfathomable power. Okay? The power that our Lord Yahweh Shai received was directly from his father. And the power that Lord will, we're going to receive is directly from Yahweh Shai. Which is power from his father. So, just wait, man. Just stick around. And the Lord is going to make everyone a believer in that day. Psalms chapter 110 and verse 1. The Lord said unto my Lord, So Yahweh said unto Yahweh Shai, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. So he's on the right hand of the Father now. Okay? Until his enemies be made his footstool. And he's coming back to do that. Subjugate the nations Subdue them under him The Lord Yahweh shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion Who's the rod of our strength? Yahweh Shai Rule thou in the midst of thine enemies He coming to do that Alright, he's coming to do just that This the point Verse 3 Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power So one body gonna believe then Alright, y'all know who I'm talking about Some people just gotta see it and when a lot of people see it, it's going to be too late. In the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. All right, so we believe through faith that brothers going to be raised up on this side. The Lord is going to lift up a standard. Pursuant to Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 19, a standard is going to be lifted to put our enemies to flight. But also dealing with the elect coming down from those chariots. The new Jerusalem coming down from the chariots. A lot of things have to take place. Okay? During what's called the uh, the transition period. And once the elect are beamed up and transformed, receiving those immortal bodies, they will not be stopped. Okay? This is going to bring about complete world domination under our Lord Yahweh Shah. Okay? Let me read this. Let's go to Revelation 21 and verse 9. And there came unto me one of the seven angels which had the seven vows full of the seven last plagues and talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will show thee the bride, the Lamb's wife. Who's the bride? The nation of Israel, beginning with the elect. So it's talking about the elect right here. The Lord is likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. Okay? Who's the Lamb? Our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay? And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from the heavenly father, having the glory of the heavenly father. 
an image of his own eternity. 